you have cried in the past three months. Nothing you have done in your entire life. I think I promise never to make you cry. You promise to make me laugh my ribs out at hundred. I guess I'm no one with promises. Free to correct that in our next word. Hope you'll find it better. And we'll have just one child. Our little princess. Hopefully she won't be this stubborn. <laughs> Every is her better. How? Wow. <laughs> How did you play 11? How did you do that? Six. Seven. Ten. What's Six. going on? So I'll be the winner for this one. There's more manipulation than 10. What's hey. going on? Hey, so what's going on? It's my turn. Eleven. Mm -mm. Sorry, princess. Please. Don't go. What? I don't want to go. I want to stay with you. Please stay. I want to accomplish all the beautiful memories we promise each other. And I want to watch our little princess grow up into the woman I want her to become. Then stay, please. I wish I could. Stay. Don't leave me stay, okay? It's hard to stick in more than it can. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Mom is going to be fine, okay? Mommy is going to be fine. 
I'm just gonna be fine. We'll be fine. No matter what happens, that he's gonna be here for you, okay? Be fine. Good morning, princess. Wakey, wakey, wake up. It's time for school. It's time for school, princess. Wake up. Can I skip school today? Nope. Can I sleep for 10 no, minutes? No, 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 baby. What about five? No. Or even two? No, baby. Get downstairs in 10 minutes for your breakfast, okay? Get up. I'll see you in 10 minutes, okay? Get up, princess. I'll also be late. Princess! Princess, I'm running late. Come on. Sorry, Dad. I was looking for my textbook. It's alright. Get into the car. We're late. Baby, I'm so sorry, okay? I, I had a lot of engagement at the office. So what's my punishment? Two cups of ice cream every day for the rest of the week. Don't you think too much ice cream is detrimental to your health? Is that you trying to evade the punishment? No, 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 no. All right, so two cups of ice cream daily for the rest of the week, right? Yes. Deal. No, 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 not a month, a week. Can we go now?
Thousands and thousands on a speck of love did arise, yeah. Two hearts colliding like stars in the night, catching everybody by surprise. So, Princess, don't you think um, we need to hire help? A help? I thought mom never approved that. Well, mom is dead. And at the moment, you see, picking you up from school, taking you back home, and going back to the office, you know, it's not, it's not easy. It's, it's a bit cumbersome, you know. Dad. It's been barely three months since she passed. And you're already complaining for school runs. Mom did this for years, and she without any complaints. I'm not complaining, okay? I'm not complaining. I'm just being realistic here. See, the last time I picked you up from school, I missed out on an important appointment because I was held up in traffic. Do you understand? All I'm saying is we need someone who can at least pick you up from school, do the house chores, and yeah. You want to do it yourself, Princess? Dad, I'm still a child. Why would you say that? I know, but um, that's the more reason why we need the help. In one condition. Well, and what's that condition? I'll interview the applicants and pick the maid myself. Really? Yep. All right, dear. Okay. You fixed the date. So when you fix the date, let me know. All right, I can fix the date like right now. Now? You're in the car. Yeah, I know. Literally, I'm not saying like now, but I'm ready. I think I'll put up a notice tonight and uh, we'll do it. Okay. What's your qualification? I have a degree in mass communication. Okay. Okay. Why do you want this job? Because with your certificates, you should be working in the media or advertising firm. Ma, because I love house chores. Okay. Mm. You're in class. <sighs> okay. We'll get back to you. Call the next person. What, Dad? If she failed a course as simple as mass communication, she can't handle anything intellectual in this house. Princess, mass communication is not as simple as you think it is. What do you mean, Dad? If Auntie Mimi could graduate with second class lower in mass communication, that means mass communication could, is the simplest course in the university. <laughs> it's, it's not that simple. Ah. I don't know what to say. Just wait for the next person. Next! <laughs> Who told you to sit? Sorry, ma'am. I'm not ma. I'm only 12, so don't call me ma. So, have you worked as a maid before? Yes, ma. Yes. How long and why did you quit? I worked just for four months and I didn't quit. I was sacked. And why were you? My madam said I was having an affair with the husband which I believe there won't be such report here. And how sure are you? Because he's a widower, so no wifey troubles. You are sucked even before the interview finished. What? Do you care for some water? Nope. She is a Delilah. 
And we don't have a Samson in this house. Okay. I'm just waiting for the next person. Next. Don't mind. Don't mind. How may we help you? Samia for the interview. What interview? Didn't you see the road female house help needed? His agenda is a thing of the mind. Let's begin. Begin what? Begin. He said no, 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 hold on. Begin what? Dad, what's wrong? What do you mean what's wrong? Young man, get out. Leave, leave, leave this place. Must I know this job? Look, I don't want to know what you know, what you don't know, what degree you have. Just leave. Leave. Be done. Go, go, go. go. No be me go leave my daughter for house with this year, year man. Dad. Hmm? That's the last person who would have hired him. No, he's a male. You fired the lady. She's leaving here. Out. You fired the person I'm in charge of. I know, but that's a male. So? No, that's not working. I'm your dad. Okay? And I'm your daughter. Yeah, so no male will come in here and do any house chores. That's wrong. Or do you want to do it? No. Good day, sir. Good day, Angel. I'm here for the job interview. Okay. You're hired. So, let's discuss the salary and job demands. Princess, no idea. No interview? I just said, no interview! Yeah, you have a seat. Thank you. Thank you, sir. What? Nothing. Baby girl. Good morning, Daddy. Aren't you late for school? It's me time break. Oh, I forgot, I forgot. Then I have to get going. Daddy needs to Wait. go to work. How about until good? She will show up later in the day, I'm sure. Okay, take care. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Affairs at work, you're late. I'm so sorry, sir. I had to pack my things and arrange my house before coming, since I won't be leaving till the weekend. That's cool. Princess will show it All right, sir. Thank you, sir. You're Have a good day, Princess. Bye. Good morning, Antiogi. Good morning, Princess. You already made breakfast. No, I didn't. I just made a little tea to hold my tummy while you make breakfast. All right, that's fine. Why don't you come show me to my room then? I'll make breakfast for you. while I came here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Coming to meet her absence is the only reason I've been away. That's okay. It makes the house look empty, but uh, it's okay. But at least you have princess. Yeah, if she's not disturbing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, princess. How are you? Come. Hi. Good evening, sir. Good evening, my daughter. I'm fine. I'm just seeing good evening. How are you? Come here. How have you been, my darling? High school. I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, you decided to come by today. Yeah, I decided to come <laughs> see you and daddy. 
Good evening, sir. Hi. Good evening, okay. Um, how are you finding the job? It's easy, sir. Really? I hope Princess here has not been troubling you. She's actually the reason I'm finding it easy. Oh, that's good. You have a maid now? Yes. And you won't have approved? Yes, but mom is not alive and I make the decisions in this house. Oh, I see. You hear the woman of the house. <laughs> it's a um, dinner ready. Yes, sir. I'll quickly set the table. Okay, good, good. So I'm going to go in fresh and out. Then, you know, I join you guys. You're having dinner with us today. Sure. Okay, good. So you two catch up. I'll see you in a bit. This baby says, come over here. Don't you miss me? I'll sit here. Okay. So tell me. Tell me about school. Tell me about everything. What have I been missing? Well, I... <laughs> oh, this was so nice. Thank you for the meal. Thank you too. We'll get made. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. I think she has finally blended in the family. Yeah, Princess actually chose her personally. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Um, it was nice having you around. Yeah, thank you. Um, now that I'm back, I will always drop by more often. That's if it's okay by you. That shouldn't be a problem. That's all right. Okay. See you tomorrow then. I right, see you around. Baby. Good night. Bye. Take care. Okay. Why does she suddenly want to be coming here often? I don't know. Maybe she likes you. She doesn't. You sure? Can't you tell? No. I, I didn't see any sign like that. Look at the way she was looking at me. Really? How was she looking at you? With an angry face. Mm, I, I didn't get that. But for all you know, she likes you and she wants to be your friend. Mm -hmm. She wants to be your best friend. <laughs> Come on, princess. She doesn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see how it goes. You don't have to be uptight, okay? She was just trying to be friendly. Okay. I need your help. What's that? There is an imposter we need to flush. An imposter? Yes. It's just yourself, your daddy, and myself that are living in this house. You and your daddy are obviously not the imposter, so. It's not you either. I implored you myself, remember? So who then is it? Auntie Jacinta? You see, this is why I hired you. I know you you are more intelligent than you look. All right. So what do we do? You're welcome. Um, where is Princess? She's in her room. Okay. Get me a glass of juice. Okay, ma. Hey, princess. Come here. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, I'm my love. How have you been holding up? Um, good. Um, nice seeing you around today. Thank you. I came to see you. Yes, can you remember that jello fries you made for me on my seventh birthday? The one your mom and I made? Yeah. Oh, sure. Of course, I remember. How can I forget? I'm just surprised that 
You remember. Um, ma, should I pour it for you? No, no, no. It's okay. Can go. Okay, ma. So I am just surprised you remember. Why won't I? Me and Daddy always talk about it a lot. Wow. Daddy? So does it mean he liked it? He loves it more than I do. So uh, will you make it for us? Sure, baby, sure. <laughs> you know, anything for your daddy and for you too. So off we go to the kitchen. First to get to the kitchen. <laughs> oh my God. Auntie Oki, okay. yes. we went to looking for you in the kitchen, your room. You weren't there. Is there a problem? Hope we have all the ingredients for jello fries. Yes, we do. Okay. Just give her everything she asks for. All right, let's go. Okay, Dad. Auntie Jacinta! Auntie Jacinta! Yes, Daddy? My dad wants to talk to you. Oh, your father. Hey. Hey there. Yeah, I was just here. Of course, <laughs> Princess and I are just making our favorite jello fries. Okay. She's good, she's well. <sighs> oh, you on your way? Oh, that's fine, that's fine. I'll just hurry up and finish up. All right. <laughs> so your dad is on his way. I would just have to go to the kitchen. When you miss me, you can always join me, okay? This food? Of course I did. My special jello fries. <laughs> nice. Thank you. <clears throat> so, what's that? I do have a feeling you messed up the food. Dad! Jake? Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm sorry. It's all right. I don't know what happened. It's all right. Too. I guess I have to leave now. I'll see you some other time, okay? Okay. Yeah, hello? Hello, Jacinta. Hey, how was work today? Work was fine. How are you doing? I'm good. I wanted to apologize for... Oh, that's fine. That's, that's fine. That's okay. Okay, so I can come over and make amends, right? Oh, that would not be necessary. Oge made um, a very palatable food for us to eat. Uh, okay. 
Okay, um, how about tomorrow evening? Um, tomorrow evening, I'll be taking um, Princess to go see a movie. All right, then. I'll wait for you to call me some other time. Yeah, sure, some other time. Have a good night, Jacinta. Good night. Bye. Daddy. Yes, yeah, sweetheart. Are we really going to see a movie? Um, well... Never mind, I knew you were lying so that she won't come over. Oh, Princess. Wait, how old are you again? Twelve. Twelve? You're too smart for your age. I'll take that as a compliment. Hmm. Okay. I'm being schooled here. Hey, Anita. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's been a while. Yes, long time. What are you doing here? Uh, it's a long story. I I came to see my fiance and then something went wrong. Do you need help? Because I'm going that way. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Sure, you can help me now. Put your bag at the back. Wow, it's been years. Anita. So oh, hop in. We've been dating online for a year now, and we both agreed that I couldn't see him tomorrow. And I was done with what I was doing in Abuja, you know, so I decided to come this morning. And you won't believe that I met him pants down with another woman. Oh, shoot. That's, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. You can say that again. I mean, to think that we're cool. We're even planning marriage. Wait, wait, wait. How do you plan marriage with someone you haven't met? How does that work? This guy, this guy was so genuine. I mean, we do video calls, we talk like the whole day. We, he was showing me so much love. Ah, oh, come on, Anita. Genuine, indeed. Guys are always like that. Oh, look, I'm, I'm so sorry. So what are you going to do now? Um, I'll just check into a hotel and stay for a few days. Um, then just go back to Abuja. I don't want to go, I mean, feeling this way. I don't want my start to make more clear of me. So. Ah, come on. Um, okay, I, you can come stay at my place. Are you sure? Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. I, I, I stay with my daughter and uh, help. The help. I don't want to inconvenience you. No, that's, that's okay. That's okay. Come on. I mean, that's the least I can do to a brother, sister. Talking about brother, sister. How's uh, Chidi? How's he doing? It's been a while. Oh, Chidi is fine. <laughs> yeah, Chidi is fine. He's married now. Oh. Mm -hmm. He married a Chinese lady. Oh, I always knew that guy was going to marry a white lady. <laughs> <laughs> I always knew that. How long has it been now like, since you left for China? Yeah, like four years now. Wow, ah, four years. Mm. Wow. Good to know, good to yeah. know. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, now, so let's go back to number two. So... We have two times two by five, five. So two times five, count it, count it out. Two times five. One, two, 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 Okay. Yes, sir. Show Anita her room upstairs. Sure, sir. Let me help you. Thank you. Dad. Yes, baby. Yes, what baby. is she doing here? Okay, so she's a friend's sister, okay? She's stranded. 
So I offered to give her a place to stay. Dad, without consulting me, I am the owner of this house. Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. This will never happen again, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not funny. I wasn't laughing. I see your hand, okay? Madame of the house. <laughs> it wasn't funny. No, it's it's not meant. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ma'am. work today. Work was fine. How are you doing? Mm, better than yesterday. Nice. Honestly, I want to say thank you for allowing me to stay here. You're welcome. Anytime. And your cook, she's so good. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's so good. She made me a delicious meal today. Hey, you enjoyed the meal? Yeah, I did. So, how was work really? Yeah, work was fantastic. Oh. Work was good. We're trying our best. Okay. She just complimented my cooking. I don't like the way she's looking at him. Is she looking at him? The way mommy used to. Princess. Yes. What's the problem? Why was she looking at you like that? Looking at me like how? The way mommy used to. I didn't notice. That's because you hardly noticed anything, Dad. You know I'm not as smart as your mom. I don't like her. You don't like anybody. I want her to leave. Really? Okay. So she'll leave very soon. How soon? Very soon, princess. She'll leave, okay? Don't get uptight. Tell you there's this company and I submitted proposal to, so they told me to come this afternoon. Oh wow, that's that's good news. Yes, I just want to let you know in case I come late. No problem. Do your thing. Right. Perfect. Have a nice day. Bye. How are you? Fine. And 
how was school today? Good afternoon. Okay, please make me a fruit juice, sir. Okay, I will. I don't like her. That's obvious. I think she has an ulterior motive towards my dad. Princess, what makes you think everybody is interested in your daddy? Not everybody. Just Auntie Anita. I know what she told daddy about the proposal earlier today was a lie. Princess. Yes. Well, your daddy is an adult and he should be able to handle his affairs. Talking to you has been fruitless. Hey, this girl. Hey. had an appointment this afternoon. Oh, yes, my darling, I did. But it was rescheduled for next week, Monday. That means you'll be staying till next week, Monday? Yes, princess. Your dad has been so generous, so... He has? Yes. <laughs> he didn't tell you that I'm in charge of this house. Oh. Okay. Don't worry, I'm going to... Talk to him when he returns. About what? About the duration you're staying in this house. Your brother was the craziest of us all. I mean, he could uh, literally walk up to a lady and he'd go like, um, I don't want to date you. I just want to have fun. You know, some of the things your brother did were crazy. I mean, it took me a while to get over them. Oh, my God. Such a crazy guy. But you, you were not like that. You are different. You know, you're always gentle and calm. Yes. You know, I, I, I always remember my mom making reference to you anytime she's school, dead cheating. Right. We're just two human beings cohabiting, that's all. Well, you've not changed one bit. Really? Yeah, even after so many years. Well, I think there's a lot that can change in a man in a minute. Mm. You, on the other hand, you are very shy and smallish. <laughs> okay, smallish, yes, but shy, no. I was never shy. Okay, maybe I was shy anytime you're around. Oh, really? And that's because, you know, uh, I, I feel a certain way anytime you're around. And I I felt the same way the other day I saw you. No wonder you were always going to hide whenever I came home. <laughs> you had feelings for me. Is that what it was? I Dad, I was trying to ask you if you saw my red nightwear. How am I supposed to know where your red nightwear is? Um, I just asked if you saw it. I haven't seen it. Okay. Come, let us go look for it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Princess, it's been a wonderful conversation. We should just keep this going. Unexpected love did arise, yeah. Two hearts colliding like stars in the night, catching everybody by surprise. 
no telling where the story begins or how it ends. But faith found a way. Anyway, I I felt there were no points. I mean, who's saying all that on chat when I'm just a few meters away from you? So I What is it? Oh, princess! Princess! Why aren't you asleep? Daddy, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Are you sure? Yes. What's wrong? I had a very terrible nightmare. Oh, it's just a dream, you know, a dream, sir. Yeah, mm -mm. it's just a dream. No, let me tell you about it. Okay. You were surrounded by a bunch of women with weapons. Really? Yes. And that's not all, though. You had another one? Yes. Can you believe I saw a woman chasing me with a matchet? Ah, go for it. Mm. Mm. Baby, it's just a dream. It's just it's a just terrible a night, dream. Man, okay? Go to bed now, princess. No, I can't sleep in my room. I'm scared. Then go, go and sleep with Auntie Oge. No. I want to sleep here, Daddy. Kids. Is daddy and daughter time? Yeah, it's okay. Good night, princess. Good night. <sighs> okay. Princess, why are you suddenly happy? Because I want to be happy. Everything is going on fine. Except for that disrespectful daughter of his. Oh, she's always popping up at the wrong time, at the wrong place. Yes. Oh, come on, Mike, don't do that. I can't be asking. I can't ask him of money now. It will be suspicious. Listen, in one or two days, we're going to be so into each other. Yes. Listen, with the way it's going, we're going to make more than that five million naira you're looking at. I'm going to fix things. Calm down. Oh, I miss you too, my darling. I love you, baby. I love you too. All right. No, I'll fix everything. Don't worry. Don't have a problem. Okay. So this chick thing wants to steal from my dad? Yes. I'm going right away to tell my dad. Come back. What? Not yet. What do you mean not yet? You just told me everything. I know I told you, but if we go and confront her, it will be our word against hers. And guess who is going to believe? We will believe her. Why would my dad believe a stranger over his mm -hmm. own daughter? Yes. Because your daddy is already in love with her. Never. Do you trust me? A little. Well, that would suffice. You know what will happen? You have to give me a day or two and I'll get a concrete evidence of her, okay? Before we confront her. I only have a day to give to you. And if nothing comes up, I'm going to tell him straight ahead. You're right. It's fine. Okay. Let's go.
stand this charade. I can't sit and watch that gold digger dig her way into my father's pocket. Princess, I told you to give me a day. This is a day. No, it's not. I still have over two hours. Okay? I have no two hours to give to you. At this time of the day, I told you it's always around during the weekend. Yes, I'm coming by this time. Patience, they say, is a virtue. You need to learn that. I will make sure I sleep with him tonight. Yes, then tomorrow morning I will ask him for the five hundred thousand. And then I will put that little brat in her place in this house. I don't let my daddy have anything to do with any other woman in this house. Now, we will see who puts who in their place. Mm. Are you going to marry your daddy? No, I won't. Finish your phone. I'm going to show my daddy right away. So you want to put me in my place, right? In my own house. Hey, princess, why are you talking to Auntie like that? My lord, what is it? I am not and I will never be. Princess! I will make sure I sleep with him tonight. Yes. Then tomorrow morning, I will ask him for the 500,000. And then I will put that little brat in her place in this house. My regards to Mark. Go! Thank you, okay. Thank you. Princess. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Why is Princess not sleeping by this time? Because I want to talk to you. Really? Yes. Okay then. What is the problem? Why are you so quick to let this woman in your life? I've not allowed any woman into my life. Daddy! Oh, Anita. Yes. That is because Anita is someone I've always admired, even way before I met your mom. You know, it's not been easy for Daddy. The past four months since we lost mommy, I've been staying here all by myself alone. It's, it's been very difficult. I know that, but I think, I think you should be careful with the type of woman you open up to. Imagine what would have happened if Auntie Oge didn't uncover Anita's plan. I know. I know, Princess. That is why I have my little princess to protect me, right? Look, we'll be fine, okay? Yes, Daddy, but don't bring another woman into this house. Really? Yes. Okay, I won't. Deal. Deal. Now, it's time for the princess to retire. Good night, princess. Who is 
Who's home? Hello? Who's home? Ooh. Hey! Hey! Oh. How are you? I'm fine. I missed you so much. Look at I you. I missed you too. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing here? Oh, really? <laughs> actually, I came here to spend a little time with you guys, okay? We are actually here on a project. So instead of us wasting money in the hotel, I prefer to come stay here. You know, my brother's house, my niece's place. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Yeah, actually, she's my best friend and um, colleague, Zara. Zara, meet my niece, my brother's daughter. Yeah, princess. Hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'll go upstairs, okay? Drop my bags and come downstairs again so I will have a lot of taste with it, okay? Okay, I'll, I'll be right back, okay? Just hold on for me. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Not again. James, I already told you, you have to manage the money I sent you last month, okay? The next time I'm expecting money is by month end. For now, I don't have a dime to send to you. Oh, God. This girl. The way you used to appear where someone is, it scares me sometimes. Was that your brother? Yes, it was. He's in school? Mm-hmm. Why doesn't he come here? Because this is my workplace and not his house. Okay, we have another problem. What problem? Another woman is in the house. Oh. Well, young lady. That is your problem, not mine. Mm -hmm. I warned you about that guy, but you wouldn't listen. I told you that guy was not genuine, he was no good. But he seemed genuine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never acted otherwise. I'm your big brother. Mm -hmm. I'm a man. I can easily identify fake guys. I mean, you know how it is. That's true. You're mm -hmm. right. I'm over him now. No, I mean it. I'm over him totally. Really? Yes, trust me. That's good news then. But that's by the way. Guess what? I don't like guessing. I met this guy <laughs> a few days ago. You like him. Come there on. go again. What? Mimi, why can't you just take a break? Mm -hmm. Take a break from my gender. Focus on yourself and your career. So when I finally settle in my career, mm -hmm. I'll then start looking for a man that would date me for another three years before even planning to marry me. <laughs> I don't have such time, bro. I don't think I have. Trust me. Why are you going to marry me? Never. Mm, never. Princess, okay. I'm your favorite auntie. No, 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 no. That's an incest. It's not possible. Please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, it's good to have you guys around. Yeah, sure. I've missed you, bro. Like... Miss you too. <laughs> you. So you usually talk about your brother, but you never told me that he's hot. Oh really? <coughs> <laughs> oh well. <laughs> because it wasn't your business. Okay? And moreover, he was married. Oh well, he's not single and I want to make it my business. So what about Jide? Mimi, come on now. You know I'm over Jide. But he was at your place before we left. Well, he actually came to apologize, but I made it known to him that there is nothing on this earth that will make both of us come back together. I mean, we caught this guy pants down with our friend. Come on now, it's not possible. So Jide is just out of it. So what do you want with my brother? A fling? Am I not too old for a fling? I want him for gifts. Really? Yes. Kill. He seems like a gentleman that really knows how to treat his woman right. So, yeah. Before Uncle, my brother is charming, even more. I so know. I wouldn't blame you if you want something like that. I did not tell you. Uh, You're yes. not a good person. Uh-uh. <laughs> Just chill. That's not a problem. So, okay. I... So 
Do you really, really want my brother? Of course. Are you going to help me? <sighs> I'll help you. Okay. But on one condition. Really? It's not free. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Which is? See, you're going to give me 50,000 the first six months you date my brother. Uh, uh, I mean it. And that's the <laughs> Fifty k, fifty k, just for your finger. I'm so cheap. You be sleeping now. Come on, sleeping. Sleeping is getting Giving me your brother for nine fifty k. Ah, for you. I said, "Fuck it." Are you giving me or not, babe? Eh? Oh, okay. My brother is shaman. I'm not blush now. My brother, sleeping. Good morning, Mr. Oh, princess, how are you? I'm fine. Okay. And Mimi, when are you leaving? Why do you ask? Not to know. I just wanted to know because you know you never stayed beyond one or two days when my mom was alive. You're right, my love. But this time around, I'll be staying longer. Okay? Because um, we are here on an assignment for my company. Wait, you mean Auntie Zara will be staying with you? Of course, certainly. She's my best friend. Of course. <laughs> Come on, watch the movie with me, okay? It's very okay. interesting. She was trouble. And I told you that that is your problem. What has she done this time? She wore a very skimpy cloth this morning. Of all the whole house, she chose to stand next to my daddy's car for workouts. People don't wear a butter for workout, do they? Don't patronize me, Aunt Yogi. I know what she wore was to seduce my daddy. Mm. Well, in that case, you should be talking to your daddy, okay? He should learn how to respect himself. He can't just jump at any woman that opens her laps and throws herself at him. Auntie Oge, you're becoming so annoying. <laughs> Thank you. It's been your online. It's nice. Oh, nice. Hi, Oge. Why are you up to? Um, I want to go wash others' clothes. Um, that won't be necessary because I'll be helping you unhappy. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, ma. So why is the washing machine? The washing machine is faulty. Oga called the mechanic and he said it will be here next week. For now, you have to use your hands. <laughs> On the second thought, you have it. You wash this time and I'll do the next one. I have some documents to sort. <laughs> All right, no problem. You're showing me something. Uh, sure. <laughs> Are you 
okay. Mm-hmm. Sir, I'm ready to leave. Oh, okay. When are you coming back? That will be on Monday, sir. I am so sorry about tomorrow. Um, Shola is my good friend, and it would be so wrong of me to miss the opening of his bed shop. It's okay, don't worry. Just take care, okay? I will. Princess, take care of yourself, okay? Dad? Yeah? I think I feel a little feverish. Sure, come. So you want to go inside and rest? Nope. I want to finish this episode. You can always come back and watch it. <clears throat> I mm. want to finish it. Do you not feel feverish anymore? Are you? <laughs> I am. So then let's go and rest. Nope. It's my choice. Okay. Let's watch that. What's your favorite character in there? The boy. Oh, my favorite character is the old woman. What's her name? Yours. What? Yours? Yes. I didn't say old woman. No, that old woman. It's That's your. My... Yeah, you like the little boy? <laughs> Baby. Princess. No school today. There is. Oh, the fever from yesterday. Yes, I'm not feeling so well. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, I'm gonna call Doctor Uma to come take care of you. Okay. Okay. You'll be fine. Let him see. She's really down, I don't know. And I have to go to work. Uh, would you be able to take care of her for me? You know, my doctor friend promised to come see her after work. Oh. I've called him. You see, I also have an important appointment in town this morning. Yeah, yeah, the one you told me about. Well, it's okay, it's fine. What about the maid? She went for the weekend. She won't be back until Monday. Oh, oh Zara. Yeah, how are you? Hi, what's up? Hi, Jake. Are you going anywhere today? Yeah, why? Um, my niece isn't feeling too well and the maid is not around. I was wondering if you could help me watch over her. Oh, of course, sure, with pleasure. Where is she? Um, she's in her room. Oh, yes. Off I go then. Oh, thank you very much. Thank I you, Zara. Everything for you. you. That makes it easy then. Yeah. I'll see you. Oh, yeah. You drive well, okay? Oh. You are close to it now. I can't stand up. My legs are weak. I am feeling sick and weak too. Auntie Zara! Auntie Zara!
Hello, Toge. Please, I need you. Princess. Oh my god. Oh my god, when did this happen? In the toilet. I need the toilet. Okay, toilet. Come here. Sorry. So have you had something to eat? I threw up a little rice I ate. Alright, so go and lie down, I'll make you something, okay? I'll see you soon, okay? Princess. Alright. Sit up. Easy. Mm. I made you pepper soup. Pepper's hmm? mm -mm. too much. But the pepper would make you not to throw up, okay? Okay. Sorry. Do you like it? All right. Hi, welcome. Hi, Zora. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Um, how's Princess? She's fine. She's in the room. Okay, good. Yes, I'm good. Good afternoon, sir. All right, good afternoon. I thought you were supposed to attend the program. Yes. What are you doing here? Princess called me, so I had to rush down here. Princess called you. But I left her with Zara. Sir, you need to put your voice down. You took me a while to get her to sleep. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Um, should I make you something to eat? No, no, no. I had something at the office. I'm good. Thank you once again. That's what you pay me for. I'm still grateful. But um and I understand why she chose you. Okay. I'll see you. Zara, See, if you know you weren't going to take care of my niece, you should have just said so. Um, who said I didn't? You did not. You practically ignored her when she needed you. I don't understand. Was I supposed to carry her to the toilet, then stand and watch her poo? This wasn't part of the job you described to me, was it? Well, Zara, living in this house and taking care of the firm's business, it's not also part of my responsibility as a sister in this house either. Do you get me? So first thing tomorrow morning, we leave to the hotel. Come on now, Mimi. It has not gotten to that now. Oh, really? Yes. Relax. Because remember, we've used the money the firm gave us for hotel bills to buy stuff. You should have thought about that. But you didn't. So like I said, we'll leave. But I don't understand why you have to just ignore the only child to the owner of this house and be doing whatever it is that you were doing. For Christ's sake, she's still a child. So we'll leave tomorrow. Don't even know where you went to. What was that? Oh, 
was I supposed to do? She stood outside and ignored me when I asked her to help me to the toilet. That was why I called Aunt Yogi. Oh, it's okay. I'm sorry, baby. Okay? Daddy's here now. How you feeling? Um, better. Good. Auntie Oge made me the magic pepper soup again and I ate all of it. Wow, that's good. That means you're okay. For you yes. to eat all of it, you're okay. Good girl. That's quite thoughtful of her. Yes, and Dad, yeah. you said that it is my duty to protect you, right? Yes, it is. Okay, and I don't want you to have anything with Auntie, Auntie Zara. Why? Is it because of what happened? More, more than that. It is... She can't replace mom. Of course, no one can replace mom. No one. Yes, it, no one can replace mom, but there is a close one. And who is that? You get to know. What are you up to? In a world full of twists and turns Expecting love did arise, yeah. Two hearts colliding like stars in the night, catching everybody by surprise. No telling where the story begins or how it came to be, but faith found a way. It was waiting, waiting, love was waiting for them. A story for all to see. You are the smartest one in our family. Smarter than your father and I put together. I'm leaving my husband in your care. Please look after him. He can be gully at times. I stand fame for him. Please. Don't deny him the joy of having another woman by him side. Just make, just help him make the better choice. Because I know you will. For you're my princess. Just take good care of him for me. love you. You'll always be my princess. You will forever be my princess because that's what you are. I love you, princess. <laughs> mm. 
make sure you always make him happy and always be the good guy I have taught you to be. Are you alright? Do you want me to get you anything? No. Okay. Do you love my daddy? What? I said, do you like my daddy? Princess. Well, your, your daddy is a fine and respectable man. So, every woman would like him. You still haven't answered my question. Do you like my daddy? Yes, I, I do. Okay. Princess. Yes. Daddy. Mm -hmm. Mommy made me promise her that I will look out for you and your happiness. What you're doing? She wanted us to keep her memories forever and still move on. I have seen women come in and out of your life but none are worthy. The only person who is worthy is right in our faces, but none of us notice. And who is this girl? Auntie Oge. She's the only one that has what it takes to fill the void mommy left in our lives. I know Auntie Oge isn't classic, as mommy was, but she has her own ways. Princess, you really like this woman? Yes, I liked her from the moment I saw her at the interview. It just never occurred to me until recently. Daddy, please marry Auntie Oge. I know you may not like her now, but with time, she'll be the love of your life. Princess, you're so special to me, okay? I don't want to share you with anyone. In that case, I don't mind sharing you with her. Is this what you truly want, Princess? Is this what you want for Daddy? Where are you going? Eh? I don't want you to mourn me forever. on me for a period of time to move on. I want you to be happy. I want you to smile again. So it might be difficult for you to for you to get the right woman. Please be happy for me. <laughs> I know it shouldn't be difficult for princess. But when she does, please listen to her. <laughs> please. <laughs> please, I want you to listen to her because I want you to be happy. I want you to smile again. 
I want to see that beautiful smile with her by her new face. <laughs> That's what I ask for you. I don't want to see this face with my arm, please. Even in death, you are still right. She has been with us all along. But I couldn't identify her. Princess did just as she presumed. not been a long time since we met and uh, you probably don't know much about me neither do I know much about you but I was, I was hoping <sighs> we could uh... please marry my dad <laughs> what dad you are beginning to sound off and my knees are put to my knees. I'm so sorry <laughs> will you be my wife and my mommy yes Oh. 